And here we have latent flowers. So one of my subscribers reached out to me and they wanted to know if I would react to this ridiculous video. At first I wasn't gonna react to it, but you know what I'm noticing? I'm noticing that Leighton is getting worse. He's at the point now where he's just simply making things up to fit his narrative. And I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna prove exactly what I'm saying, that he's just making things up. Things, he's saying things that just aren't true, okay? So the big question here is, do Calvinists think that they are better? Do we really believe that we are better than everyone else? That's the question. So, all right, let's get into the first part. Um, SJ, thank you for your super chat. Dr. Flowers, I have been so blessed by it. The Calvinist rebuttal. What makes you so special from your neighbor who rejects the gospel? Are you claiming spiritual superior, superiority over non-believers? What say you? Um, I have an article about that um, at Sociology 101. If you were to type in the Calvinist most popular argument, <laughs> this is it. Um, and in fact, it's in my book, in the, the appendix of my book, uh, The Potter's Promise, because it is the most popular question. Um, you must think you're better. Uh, and this is one of the reasons I'll put back, push back on Calvinist. And, uh, you know, if I don't have much time with them, I'll just say, well, do you think you're better because you're a Calvinist? After all, you believe Calvinism is true, don't you, Calvinist? And the Calvinist will say, yeah, I believe Calvinism is true. Well, you believe in Calvinism and I don't. And, and I'll even use maybe somebody else. C.S. Lewis was a believer. A.W. Tozer was a believer. Um, they never became Calvinist. So are you a better person than they are? Are you smarter? Are you more insightful? I'll n never want to admit that, of course. First off, Leighton, you're just flat out lying, okay? At this point, you're just literally making things up. There is no truth to what he just said. Now, what did Leighton just say? And I quote word for word. He said, the Calvinist's most popular argument is that they are better than everyone else. Now, that's just a lie, okay? I have never heard a Calvinist preach or say that. And if they do say that, that's evidence that they are not a Calvinist, okay? Now, I want to put Leighton to the test. I want him to point out the Calvinist that said that. Expose the person that said that. Why, why didn't you drop a name? Who is this Calvinist that said that they are better than everyone else? Who is that person? Okay. The reason you didn't do that is because you can't, because you're making things up. Calvinists do not speak that way because the doctrine alone gives no place for it. But do you know that, you know what does give place for it? Free willers, Arminians, people, people like Leighton Flowers. Okay. You're actually speaking about yourself. Now, I want you all to pay attention here and listen to me very closely. Now, if we're rocking with this whole narrative regarding who can make a boast of being better than others, it would actually be those that believe like Leighton Flowers, those that hold to the free will Arminianistic view, false view of scripture. And why is that? Because if we can choose God, then we can essentially cross out Ephesians 2, 9 in the Bible, because there will be boasting on the day of judgment. And why is that? Because if I made the decision to choose God and to repent within my own strength, apart from the sovereign regenerated work of God, then I am responsible for making the better decision that led to my salvation against what my neighbor chose, okay? I essentially earned my salvation. Therefore, I'm better than my neighbor that made the wrong decision by not choosing. And because of that, I can boast in myself. Therefore, I'm better, okay? That's exactly what you believe, Leighton. So he doesn't even know what he's talking about here. Listen, the reason you will never hear a true Calvinist speak this way is because Calvinists know and understand that apart from grace, the only thing we've earned is our rightful place in hell. Our boast is never that we are better than anyone else. Our boast is actually that we are worse than our neighbor. And why is that? Because in our humility, we have not only recognized our need for a savior, we believe what the Bible says about us, that we are, that we are wretched, having no good and deserving only the wrath of God for our trespasses. The true Calvinist's true boast is always the Lord, not ourselves. So Leighton Flowers, show me the Calvinist that you actually said that actually said that they are better than someone else, okay? You can't do that because you're lying. You're lying to create a narrative to fit your own agenda, okay? Listen, Leighton, you will have no peace until you repent. There's a reason why everything on your channel has to do with Calvinism because just like the atheist, you have to suppress the truth. I have been in the ministry for three and a half decades. I have been in jungles. I have been in deserts. I have practically frozen to death. I have, there are so many things, guns to my head, you name it, done so many things, young people. I'm so tired. And you say, why are you going to heaven, Brother Paul? One reason, and it has nothing to do with jungles or deserts or good works or orphanages or anything else. If I die right now, I'm going to heaven for one reason. Jesus Christ died for this sinner. That's it. 
I have no other boast, young person. You see, young person, what I want you to see is I want you to see that you can't save yourself this way or this way or this way or backwards. You cannot do it, but this way. God, I'm a sinner. I cannot save myself. Save me.